like to welcome y'all back. This is Michael Thompson uh, from TVPainter.com. I have some videos that I'm putting out that I want to help you with and uh, with your painting and stuff and answer some questions that people have asked me. But I wanted to demonstrate a few things for you that uh, make it a little easier for people who don't know anything about uh, painting. So I, in some other videos, I introduced uh, the materials that I used, and I'm not going to go back over that now, but you can see that in some other episodes uh, that I have in these uh, techniques videos. But uh, right now, I've got out a couple of colors. I've got thalo blue and uh, some titanium white. And I'm going to do like a little sky right here, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the thalo blue for the background of the sky, and I'm going to place it on here now. We've already put some uh, base white medium on here, and uh, I'm gonna be uh, releasing some of that. It's called Michael's Base Coat Medium, and uh, we will uh, look for that in the future, but right now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, use a fan brush and uh, paint a background of a sky. Now, I'm just gonna load some of that into the fan brush this is a small canvas, it's not very large, so you, you don't have to use a big brush to do this with, but uh, very nice color. Let's just uh, paint in something. Notice how when I just do something simple like that, that uh, uh, it gets lighter down here, which is important to uh, landscape painting in some situations. So we'll just uh, paint that nice blue in right there. And this is a canvas board. It's about 11 by 14, but I thought it would be sufficient to do some of this type of painting with. And uh, I'm just gonna run through something very simple. This is for people who uh, have never painted before and would like to paint. This would be a good idea, or if you're new to the tools and painted just a few times, this would work really well for that too. I'm gonna put just like a little bit of a dark uh, thing right there. And I'm just going back and forth. You can throw in little wiggles and things like that, but there's some dark areas like right in here, and uh, you don't want to destroy all that in the sky. I kind of like those. Uh, you can make the sky flat color if you want to, but uh, I think it just makes it look like it, the light plays around inside of it, and it uh, gives a nice effect to things bouncing around in there. So let's just take a, a little bit more of that blue and put up here in the corner just kind of draw things to the center of the painting and uh, we'll see where that goes to so we'll go from there next thing i want to do is uh i'm going to use a filbert brush now this filbert brush is a little bent but uh it's where it's not been stored properly which is my fault but uh it can still be used we'll get it back in shape it's a number six filbert i'm going to go into some of the Titanium white, and I add just a little drop of blue just to kind of soften. It's gonna pick up some of that blue in it, but uh, let's go ahead and just come up here to the, and I've got a lot, a fair amount of paint on that brush, as you can see, all the paint that's on it. And uh, I'm just gonna go right up here and I'm gonna just do like little circles and drag that brush around just like this right here but flip it over and get that other side but it picks up that blue fairly well and grab some more and you can do clouds just that simple now what I'm gonna do next let's lay that down and I'm going to grab the brush that I was doing the sky with and load it up with some white. And I'm going to just go up to the canvas right here and, and I can do the same thing. See how I'm just uh, creating some clouds that way? See, I can create clouds like that too. Now these clouds are not done, but this is the basic shape of them. So I can just create clouds by using the corner of the fan brush, just like that. Just take the brush, go up here and just do circles, see there? And you can take that, or we can take a, a one inch brush. Well, let's just use this two inch brush right here since we got it going. I'm gonna just tap into the 
titanium white. And you can go into it and just tap in clouds like this right here. See that? So I've got like three different clouds going and I'm tapping like I would probably put grass highlights or create the grass. But you can create uh, beautiful clouds that way. So let's just make uh, some clouds come right down through there, which I like this technique because the clouds look like they're just in layers. And uh, we'll work with that. So we've got clouds right there. Now you can create clouds with anything, like even the knife. So I've got uh, those started. Now let me go into the uh, palette knife, and I'm using a number 10 palette knife here. And uh, I'm gonna load some paint onto it like that, just cutting a roll across. And uh, let's say right over in here uh, that uh, we want some different clouds and things. So look at that. So we just, I'm just squiggling that around. See that? And these can make some beautiful and some lazy clouds that come right in through there. See all that? Now, say we got all those, so we learned how to do them with a filbert, with the fan brush, with a two inch brush, and with a palette knife. So we've got different clouds right there. That's just kind of an idea. The key to this is, is just feel comfortable, loose. Don't tense up, don't hold the brush like you're going to kill it, just let it flow, just relax, let those, uh, just do small circles, you can do them this way, that way, whichever way you prefer, but just relax, let the canvas pull the paint off the brush that it wants, like this is thick paint right here where the knife is, but that's the knife's technique is to give that texture. So uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe some of this uh, excess paint out of the uh, two inch brush. So let me get some of that paint out. This will help me blend these clouds better without destroying the, what I've got. So let me go ahead and uh, get that. So I've got just a little bit on there, but it's just stained into the bristles. It's not going to hurt anything. But Now this brush is fantastic for uh, blending. So if I take the uh, tip of the brush, see how I'm doing that? Just the tip of it and uh, work around. Now look, I don't want to go to this top edge right here. I want to stay away from that. Just blend the base of this and see this right here, look, just a little bit right there. Just You just want to, these clouds just fluff up a little bit on these uh, clouds that I did with the knife and the same with these. I'm not blending with the whole brush, it's just the top part of the brush. I'm just blending with the top part of the brush is all that I'm blending with. These right here just simply fluff up. Anytime you just tap them on there, if you blend, if I were to blend these, I would destroy all the detail of that. So what I want to do is just fluff it up and gently go across to remove any of the straight up brush strokes. See this? Just like that got it into play. See that? So we got all those clouds happening. We created a nice little sky. Just that simple. You've got all kinds of little clouds. Now one beautiful thing about making clouds is uh, you can go back and uh, create different uh, planes in the clouds. Like I've got some of this paint on there. I just loaded up a chunk of that white paint and I want to go back in here and create another dimension. I can just go in here and add a, a layer just like this right here. Maybe I need to put some right over here. Okay. Now, let's get the knife out. I enjoyed that. I want to make it a little more texture right in here. Let's say See all this? Look, let's just make some some nice clouds. And you can see one of my paintings, I did a seascape that uh, uh, has got some, I did the, the clouds uh, with a knife. And, and man, they turned out fantastic. You know, I was just like, and it's something you can't duplicate uh, to make it identical to that. It just happened, you know, with the colors that was going on with the canvas and things like that. So I'm wiping out my brush right now, get it back up here. and. 
let's just fluff these up just a little bit. See there? Go over them just a tad. And we can blend this one down a little bit. Blend it into the sky. Just like that. And softly go from left to right. And I think we got a nice looking cloud right there. What do you think? A nice little group of clouds. Let's see if we can kind of zoom in on those and see if we can uh, let you see kind of what they look like up close. See there? It's got this cloud right in here. You can see the texture on it and the, it, 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 the distance where this blue light in the background gives that distance of uh, depth. So that really helps out a lot. Now one other thing that, I mean we can do all kinds of things with this, but one other thing that we can do is play with the shadows in the painting. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that blue in with the, uh, on the filbert brush and I'm just gonna tap in some dark, look I'm just tapping in some dark spaces right here. And uh, I want these that are gonna be like shadows in the clouds. So uh, these will play a real nice role in the giving the cloud a lot more depth than it has right now which it's pretty good right now you can you can leave it the way it is but let's take it a step farther and uh, and see what we can come up with just to see see what we can create okay now we've got that up there remember i'm going to wipe my brush out again just to make sure that I don't have too much paint into it we don't want it to destroy anything um, right here i'm going to just uh, take the corner of that brush and just kind of soften that little brush stroke up without uh, doing anything else. So just pull that up, fluff it up, or you can go in here and just do a little tiny circle within that cloud and then fluff it up and uh, you create all these little layers and shadows inside the cloud now that it has, uh, that it gives it a lot more depth inside of it and that's what we was looking for so yay for us and just that simple we got it so we'll get this one right here all fixed up and I just used the same blue color that's in the sky already but it uh, I just used it a little darker and it helped create a uh, some of those uh, areas to make it uh, work out better. So let's let's just add a little bit more blue right in here. Maybe this is all just a darker cloud right in there. Let's work that out. Just blend that. See how that just blends right on down. And we can create a whole nother cloud right there. Let's just pull that up. See how you can create another plane? I'm just barely touching this canvas. It looks like I'm roughing it up, but I'm just barely, barely grazing that canvas. So uh, just that simple, you can create like a shadow in the cloud and uh, make a, a, all kinds of things happen and we could put them all around these clouds and stuff. But this cloud looks like it's in front of it. It's brighter, it's more crisp in the texture. And uh, so I think it uh, looks like it's in front. And that's what it's about, texture, shadows, things like that to make it look like the clouds are in front of different clouds. Um, so I think that's a pretty good lesson.